I'm in the mood for a long, a nice long pose. And I pulled out the really huge book, but you know, I want to be able to carry this around. I want to take this one to the Yeti again, eventually. Um, and it'd be very difficult to bring in that big book. This one's getting full, which is not a problem because I made it. Um, so all it is, is it's just a piece of leather on a piece of leather. And I just fold the paper and put it in there. I made my own sketchbook, which is kind of fun. You know, test it, see which one takes the tool that you want to use. Like that one doesn't give me enough. I'm oh, pretty much almost used. I think used up most of the, the blue. So let's see what we got. Yeah, these are all getting used up. Where's one open? There's brown. Uh, I was talking to my students and I was telling them that, you know, I've done about 25 videos so far. So I have them, you know, in my Dropbox, on my phone. And uh, so I did a little uh, count at over 50. So we're just getting started and there's already over 50 videos. So you certainly have a lot because the fun part about this is it's just drawing and that's what I do all the time. And instead of, you know, sitting here and putting on a movie, which I love to do, on the camera, hang out with you guys. So um, as far as asking questions, just go ahead and put them in the, um, the, the remarks or you'll see them and then he'll tell me what to do. All right, let's do this page, I think. Ooh, let's do this gray. Way back here. This is cool because it's more flat. Again, I made it. I can pull pages out and put new ones in. I wanted to show you guys something. So take a look. Here's a Rubens painting. You see it? And here's a Rubens painting. And they're just flopped. Isn't that crazy? And they're just flopped. So he's doing the same thing we do in animation where you take a scene, it's going this way, you flop it and have it go the other way. So, you know, they were doing business just like everybody else. And I guess they were trying to work on uh, saving time and money. Um, I've probably drawn this pose a million billion times. And, uh, and that was just on a weekend. I love this pose. This one's pretty cool. He's just hanging around. This one I like, but this one, just badass. So I'm gonna draw that, but I'm gonna take my so let's take off a bracelet just to get some away. I'm gonna bring his head down, make it super dramatic. But I really want to I want to do a good job on this one. Um, if I look at a drawing that I did, which I you know I, I take the drawings and just lay them on the floor. So what I do is when I do a drawing, um, I put it on the floor in my studio. So every time I walk in, I have to see it, and if it's a bad drawing. Then I punish myself and uh, I have to stare at this stupid thing. You're not doing another one of those. I'm stuck. I'm from myself and I'm on my student. What a nice lamb. So now I think basically it's called digesting a rat. So this is feeling, this is feeling pretty good. It's got a nice flow. So this would be a good drawing to draw together because I'll kind of go into uh, into the zone. He's going to be on his knees now. Hmm, I like the silhouette. Let's play around with it. Let's see what happens. What if we just have them sit on top? If we put them here, it's going to look like he's got a giant drawing with chocolate. Um, what if this leg went back this way? 
Ooh, there we go. Okay, so this is going to go back this way and then come around with a foreshorten. There you go. And then the foot will go right in the corner. Okay, so that's why we do a lay in because let me go the other way. You know, you take your time and figure out what you want to draw. At that, and then um, his arms going back. Remember, it has to silhouette. I put the other arm behind. No, it's not the shape. Okay. I'm going to move. Let me turn this light down. I'm going to move as if I am the drawing. Okay. And uh, I'm going to move and find that cervical vertebrae number seven. Yeah. I guess his was going the other way. Oh, that one works. So in a profile, I jump right to the skull. Not the skull. Ugh. Let's see how many work how much work goes into the gesture. Let's choose the story. You're gonna live with it a really long time. Why don't you turn the head? So the shoulder can be a straight line and that can go into the hair. He's got a ponytail. Going that way. So it's gonna be a silhouette. There we go. Now what we have is this side of the head. Ponytail takes us this way. So we know that his head's turning. Shoulder lines up with this side here of the hair. And then I can see the shoulder here, and then the chest, and then the rib cage. So it really silhouettes now. And that's the important. Okay. You guys aren't going to really see it much, but it's there. Um, now we find a place and key it. Let's tuck under the arm. Look over and see if you can see this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is really good. So that's uh this will be the darkest dark. And then up here is gonna be the lightest light. So now I have a key. I know direction to go. 
I'm going to swap pencils because I really like the um, Tuscan red better. And I think it'll be good. So we're going to use the little tool. Modern day tool. Okay. I was looking for this one. That's our darkest dark. And now I'm going to get in there and give him a massage. Uh, one of the comments, let's do this. I forgot I was supposed to do this. Um, somebody said, you know, with the amount of years you've worked in this industry, can you tell stories? Yeah, <laughs> I can tell lots of stories. You want to hear a story? You ready? They're all real. I don't need it made up. Okay. Story number one. Here we go. Are you ready? So, um, back in the olden days, ink and paint, um, they, they call them the ink and paint ladies. You know, they were mostly women. Not my doing, you know. I mean, I was really young. And uh, 81, maybe? 22. And uh, I'm 64 now, so you can see how long ago that is. Well, The Genius Studio decided to separate the ink and paint from us, and they would put, um, like, if this was the hallway, okay, so you'd be, people would be walking this way, they put cubicles here. So we have a wall here. Okay, here we go. Okay, they got to get back in this drawing. But here we go. Here's a wall. On this side is ink and paint. This is a walkway. And here's another kind of wall and then these were cubicles okay so you have people walking behind you all day long and uh <laughs> the genius of the studio they only made the wall for the ink and paint only so high so there's like a fair amount of distance from the wall to the ceiling well what they didn't realize is that smoke rises and it came over Right on top of us. So the person sitting next to me would name, there'll be no names, okay? I will not mention names, but uh, this person um, got very frustrated. <laughs> I did bring in an oscillating fan and blow the smoke back over. So every time the fan went away from me, um, it was fine, but every time it Blue towards me, all my drawings would fly up, in and uh, it was so frustrating. <laughs> How I got any anything done, I have no idea because I was chasing my drawings all day long. There you go. How's that? Not a good story. It's a true story. There's a tricep. Uh, I just have to move that over. Okay, another story. So we um. The electricity went out. I mean, not the electricity, electricity went out, so we had no air conditioning, and or the electricity, whatever it was, we had no, we had no air. So we all, uh, for a couple of days, we just showed up and sat outside in front of the studio. This is on Sherman Way in Lindley, which is filmation, and. Um, Oh, his electricity was out because there was no stoplight. Okay, so electricity was out. We had no air, but they had no stoplight. It's on the corner of Sherman Way and Lindley. Well, being that the people in Los Angeles are really stupid, they go flying through the intersection and they would have like mere, like near misses of car accidents. So the animators, in their geniuses of intelligence, decided to rate them. So they they came out with paper with numbers from one to ten on. So every time the car would go flying, um, they <laughs> put up the numbers. I thought it was great. That was really funny. So that was the people making your cartoons, judging products. So what do you think? Is that funny? I thought it was funny. Okay, so here's Del Toy. Here we want to open this up. Okay. Um, 
every time I try to get my students to understand that they're really smart, I tell them about this one artist who, this is about the time when the Japanese cars were coming into America. You know how old I am. And uh, I was <laughs> advertised over the studio that this isn't me, this was the person that the reason why the cars are good is because Japanese have small hands and they can get in really close and really in far and tight and the folds. <laughs> this is this is real stuff. I mean, and, and you guys want to get into this field, huh? I mean, now everybody is like, hmm. it's me, an animator. I'm just like laughing because it was not a career for the. Uh, for intelligence. Okay, so light's coming here. <laughs> this is going to be a hard edge. There's a lot of stories. So let me know if that was okay. I mean, by the time you guys get this video, I've already done over 50 videos. It's just getting started. So I'm just going to massage this one. There's some cross contours, but mostly going to be massage. So here's the bicep, and then the lacrimal. So on that paper flying cubicle that I had, I would take my drawings from the week that I did in, you know, Vilpu's class. I'd have them on the wall above my cubicle, you know. So you just do this little cubicle. And anybody who came in, they couldn't leave until they critiqued my I just studied. Over probably about 40, 43 years later. And I'm still doing it. When, uh, so tomorrow, when I go to school, when my employees come in and the students, I'll have them look at this drawing in there, and I'll have them critique it. And they're uh, 15 to 18. And I will listen. You know, this could be a girl. I'm going to make this a girl. So if you're drawing a female anatomically, birth gender, on a general basis, based on a hypothesis of Researching millions of Krogman's knowledge of proportions. The rib cage on the female is narrower. Thoracic arch is 60 degrees. And the hips are wider. The male and the pelvis is tilted a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm transitioning. Um, what well, was going to be a male no so if you're doing some animation and, and you know it's a male you know you feel better you know it's just it's just kind of the mood of drawing a female, and it's a dance sequence, and it's, you know, they're pretty much the same as male or female. I don't know, animate it as a female and give it to me, and I'll just, when I clean it up, I'll make, I'll put it on model and you know, make it a male. All right, now this has to be proportional here.
So this is bone. Okay. There's a uh, animator who's a way out to him. He uh, lived in a motorhome and he just would drive from studio to studio wherever he was working. He's like one of these talk towns. And uh, he okay. doesn't pull it too much. <laughs> he heard a noise and he pulled and shot pull in the off of his motor home and was gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never really saw him. I went back to school and uh, had to get my degree. And, uh, in one of the classes, they were, uh, it was at Pierce College, and uh, they lasted one semester. I got my AA and left. But uh, the counselor said, you're not going to make it. And I said, why? She said, you've already been out in the real world. It's not going to work. Um, anyway. One of the uh, lectures they did was uh, on migrant farm workers. And they were talking about how they would just move from farm to farm and, you know, work. And... Uh, well, what happened is uh, I turned to a kid next to me and I said, they're describing animators. I said, what do you mean? I said, animators just like migrant farm workers and just go where the work is. And that was it. So where's the security in the industry? The security is you. It's just. Just for spiting themselves. So the no security was total security. You control your own career. So I'm sketching, and teacher walks up and sees me drawing. Teacher says, Wow, you really draw well, really well. And I said, Thanks. He goes, uh, you know, we could really use an artist on the newspaper, in the magazine. I said, oh. I reached in my wallet and pulled out my union card. And how many students at Pierce College have a motion picture screen cartoonist local 839 union card? Wrote on the desk. I could use name this class. I said, all right, let's talk. So we talked to you. And uh, for every drawing I did, I got so many points. Went out, never took a test. And my name on the paper and walked out. Same thing. Yeah, that's like the real world. This is crazy. Okay, so we got to put this leg out. This crosses over the leg a bit. Well, I didn't last very long. From there, I uh, kept teaching at Brandis Art Institute and uh, got a job at Rocket. And they make uh, space shuttle engines. I worked there and then. 
you got to get out of here. Why? This is a great job, you know, benefits. You know, I was working as a, um, you know, in full electronics, you know, like a day laborer, you know, they bring in. I was animating on a really top secret project, military. Um, I said, why? He goes, because you're young and you're talented. Get out of here. Because everybody had their, everything counted down, like how many years, months, days, hours until they retire. I didn't want to do that. I'm going to put a triangle shape here. Um, so, I was a vendor, what they call a vendor. So, I left on the Friday, and they usually call you back, you know, to come in on Monday. And they're waiting for this one guy to, like, die. And to, I was going to take over that area. And, you know, because you you, you just, nobody retires and just die. Um, so, what's I said, no, I've got another job. So from there, I got a job as an art director. And did that. And then I met my wife. And oh boy, oh, I'm going to get married because it was love at first sight. Engage perfect. Here we go. And I figured I better get a job with medical benefits. So I walked in the studio and there was a, right by the card. They knew who I was. He showed me. He said, hey. He just walked around, and there was all this figure drawing on all the desks. Said, that looks fun. So I asked what it was, and they said, oh, it's a show called He-Man. I said, oh, looks like it's about how I figure drawing. So I went into the bathroom, because I know where it is. I'm good at that. And, uh. Producer walked in. I said, where you been? I said, oh, I'm art directing. He goes, well, get over here. Can you get back here? We need you. So I came in. And, you know, you have to test. You always have to test. I test. And my boss, you know, she was great. Just threw it on the on the couch and said, start Monday. And my wife, my really roommates or teachers, and they go, what are you working on? And I go, I'm going to work on He-Man. And they flipped out, you know, so the no security is complete and total security and that's the fun part you want to definitely pull this and then this way, this way, and this way, you know, right here. I never cared about being laid off because I was trained with it you know, from my teacher, Eddie Raver. So it was just part of it. And you wanted to get laid off. You wanted to move around to other studios because and you grow, you know, you know, in the same studio with the same people doing the same job, you know, you don't grow. I wanted to go somewhere like, hey, time's up. Okay. What are you going to do, Sean? All right, I got another job.
But tomorrow I'm going to bring this in and show it. I have one of these books in my bag. I'm going to show because we're doing um, how to sketch on location tomorrow. Okay. So we took my favorite Rubens painting of the guy hanging around talking to his friends. Converted it to a female dancing on her knees. And that's how you do it. So she's pretty tight. She's pretty buff. Eyes. Rear. This one starts there. Well, I believe gluteus medius gluteus maximus. All right, good enough. Just sketching. I want to break in a new sketchbook, so I want to do that. I'm just mood to draw tonight. It's only 8.30. we got a whole night ahead of us. Have some fun. <laughs>